Today I'm on Mission Bay. I'm on the 2019 Hobie Outback. I like fishing Mission Bay for a few different reasons. You can launch anywhere there's beach access, so you can get on the water very quickly here. And I also like that it's, it's mainly an eight to 12 foot flat with sand and rocks mixed in. So you're gonna get those ambushing fish. I'm gonna run a few different baits today. I got a little bit of stuff I wanna test. So let's go ahead and start fishing. There we go. Feels like a good one. Of course, I got all the spinning gear right now, so. Lighter, lighter gear, it's gonna feel good. Yeah. Grass bass. Nice one on the Ranger underspin and that clone swim bait. Yeah, stoked. Nice to finally get one. Fishing through some grass flats and it's six and a half foot of water. So I opted for the quarter ounce underspin, the four inch swim bait and my spinning rod, as you can see, it's got that nice bend in it. See if we can get another one. Here we go, hooked up again. Just swimming this bait through the grass. I mean, right, right above the grass and through it. Oh, he choked it big time. It's in there, he choked it down. Roof of the mouth, so e easy to get out. To the knot, choked it to the knot. There you go. Nice catch, let's get him in. Long cast out, let it hit the bottom. Just slowly wind it through the grass. Pause every so often or give it a pop. That one came on the creep through the grass. Oh my, oh yeah. Dude, he picked it up when I was bringing it over the top of the grass. All right, last piece. It's a decent fish, oh my goodness. Holy crap, this one's legal. Oh wow, this is a big one guys, this is a big one. Legal bay bass. Look at this thing. God, this like Damn, son. <laughs> what? Look at this bay bass. Dude, choked. Look at this thing. Slob. Fat gut, real dark. Look at that thing. <laughs> Look at this bay bass. Dude, fat one, boy. Look at that thing. Look at that fanned out tail. <laughs> wow. Full size one, full size one. Cannot complain. Again, that's the rig. Quarter ounce head. I'm fishing that lighter head because the water's so shallow, the grass is so thick. I'm able to bring this bait through the eelgrass more efficiently and not get hung up. It really just snakes through all that eel grass. 10 pound fluorocarbon leader line, 10 pound braid, a little spinning reel. Definitely a big one for this rod and reel. When you see them like that, real dark, thick, big belly, yeah, you know they're a big fish. Oh my God. Another one snaking it through the grass. Look how much grass there is right here. This guy was in there. I'm really just slow grinding it through the eelgrass, right in the nose, like directly in the eelgrass. They're not really free swimming up. They are, they are directly in it. If the grass is laying down this way, 
I'm bringing the bait with it. So far, no bites across the grass or any other direction. It's all been with the grass. And imagine that it's zero to six feet, right, to the surface. That grass is a good two to three foot off the ground. So really there's only three foot of open water, about three foot of grass. So I'm letting that bait really get in there. the hook on them that time I've been letting them get off they've been they've been hitting it and getting off so this time I really put the wood to them <laughs> it's been a little while since I've caught a fish so good to get another one tide hasn't turned yet it's not completely high tide yet so I'm hopefully I'm hoping they snap right before the tide peaks Slow winding the underspin through that grass. Yeah, this thing's looking torched, so it's good. Good we're using the bait. The bait's getting a lot of use, and we might have to throw on a new one if the bite continues. There we go, another one. Decent fish. Some bass. Swim jig fish. It's always good. That's a decent one. Nice fish. Good to get another one. Recently, some of you guys were asking me when I fish the swim jig with a paddle tail. And right now is a key situation. There's a lot of bait fish in the water. So I moved over to the swim jig. 3 8 ounce MB Secret, Mission Bay Secret with a Kitek swim bait on the back. I'm letting it sink out, get right in that grass, and just slow wind it through and pause. So pop through, pause, slow wind, pause, and that one bit on the wind. So just showing them something a little different here. I might have exhausted the fish on that underspin and swim bait in this particular area. I wanted to comb through a little bit more, see if I can pick one up on something else, and I was able to do that. Let's keep with it, see if we can get another one. Oh my God, did you guys see that? I got slammed. And you know what happened? My drag was super loose. Oh my God. Okay, they're biting the swim jig. <laughs> let's, tighten up, let's tighten up the drag and get a fish. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was just swimming it through the grass right there. All right, how loose is the drag? That's not bad, but let's, let's go crazy. Now we're talking. There we go. Hell yeah. Dude, another biter on the swim jig. Just swimming it through the grass. Swimming it through the tops of the grass. <laughs> swim jig fish, man. Uh, they're on that bait fish, so you gotta throw you gotta throw a bait fish presentation. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! Nice little fish. Again, I'm swimming it with the current. So the tide is coming up and I'm bringing the bait with the current. It's bait fish presentation. 3 8 ounce MB secret. A little 3.8 Kitek swim bait, matching the hatch. Oh my God. Another one. I was just dropping it back down through the grass. Smaller guy. I can't even get my thumb into his mouth. There you go. Small guy. 
haven't fished a swim jig in quite a while, but this is pretty much where the 3 8 ounce Warbaits swim jig got its claim to fame as fishing the grass, Mission Bay, or Spot of Bay Bass. For a few years now, we've been testing a lot of baits and haven't, I haven't really come back to the swim jig in quite a while. Been fishing a lot of underspin and spinner bait, a lot of bladed baits. But when it's cold like this, you gotta keep that bait more near the bottom. So the swim jig's a great way to do it. And I'm again, I'm just snaking it through the grass. Oh man, they're loaded up over here or something. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I mean, we used to fish the swim jig quite a bit in Mission Bay. Pretty much all we would fish is the 3 8 ounce swim jig and the 3 8 ounce swim bait head with a four inch swim bait. Pretty much, you know, swim bait on both. There's just more baits to, to try and R&D and samples, so sometimes some techniques get pushed to the wayside and I forgot how good it was fishing for spotted bay bass. There we go. Swimming that jig again. Swimming it right over the grass. Small fish, but good bite. Good to get another one. I'm still picking at them here. Trying to wear them out. Trying to stay with them here. I'm kind of moving in and out of these zones and I'm trying to find the fish again. I'm trying to find a big school of them. But one thing with bay bass is when you catch one, there's typically more with it. So cast back in that area. Stay with that fish. Big bite. Big bite, big bite, big bite. Big bite. <laughs> Not a giant, but a big bite. That was awesome. Standing bite that time. Just stretching the legs out and got one there. Roof of the mouth. He ate it while it was moving. Unbelievable, still works. <laughs> I want to thank Fastlane Kayaks for always taking care of my fishing kayak needs. They're a family-run business. They're the largest supplier of Hobie kayaks in Southern California. They always have the newest Hobie kayaks and all the gear that you could possibly need. If you're interested in any kayak fishing, give them a shout or head down to Mission Bay and check them out in person. The spinning rod that I was using is a custom seven foot medium action extra fast taper and I primarily use this rod for the quarter ounce and the 3 8 ounce Warbaits swim bait head and the Warbaits underspin. I chose this particular blank because it's an extra fast taper. So there's a stiff backbone, it shuts down quickly and then there's a sensitive tip. That's going to help ensure that I fill those bites from those bay baths. The reel is an Abu Garcia Revo S20 and it's spooled up with 10 pound Berkeley Jordan Lee Green Braid. Here's that bait I was using. It's a Warbaits quarter ounce Ranger color underspin with a four inch clone swim bait. It's a soft paddle tail swim bait with those ribs. Great action, gets bit. So here's that swim bait I was using. And what I do is I cut the front off the bait so it mounts up nicely with the swim bait head. Here's that swim jig setup I was using. It's a 7.3 extra heavy phoenix feather and the reel is an abu garcia revo x and it's spooled up with 30 pound berkeley x9 braid 3 8 ounce mb secret swim jig with a 3.8 kitex swim bait on it this seemed to be a great match the hatch presentation with all those bait fish in the water if you have any questions regarding that rod or reel or any of that gear 
leave it in the comment section below and I'll answer those questions. Thanks again for all the support that you're giving this channel and Warbaits. We are growing and it's because of you guys. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. Get out there, go fishing, hook that giant.